Blessings, my brothers and sisters, your brother in Christ, John Ramirez. I hope you're having a great day today. Amen. Thursday, blessings to all on March uh, 9th, I believe. Amen. God bless you all. It's been a while I haven't been on. Just been uh, doing other things that God has me doing. And just want to share a moment with you. I do have a good news. My book, two, two days ago, the book came out. Praise the Lord. I came out five prayers. Building, actually, it's a five prayer building arsenals to destroy satanic kingdoms and we know that the devil is at work but you know great is he that lives in us but we know we need to know how to fight the good fight the man i put the link there if you go to amazon grab that book man grab a book and it's gonna bless you amen i think satanic kingdoms to me it's uh satanic kingdoms to me it's when you have more than one attack the devil knows that you are in dangerous and he has to send more attacks over your life one after another. They repeat one after another. Uh, sometimes, you know, in the morning you get up and you got drama, amen? And, and then in the afternoon, everything just calms down and then you got two other things coming in the early evening and these attacks keep coming and coming and coming and you're like one after another. It's like a tsunami of attacks and 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 build how you build how you build arsenal to destroy satanic kingdoms. These these attacks, not only just one attack, but two, three, four, sometime all in one day, and and you're like, man, Lord, what's going on? I mean, what, it's so much happening. And I just want to give you, uh, just want to give you a, a preview of uh, uh, pretty the, the chapters or in the book. To train you, to teach you the ten entrapment that leads to satanic bondage. How you describe the ten satanic, uh, the leads uh, satanic, uh, satanic, the leads to satanic, the, the weapons of the devil, entrapments that lead. Because the devil knows he needs to uh, set up entrapments in order for you to fall into bondage strongholds. What are the ten most important ones that the devil used against the body of Christ? Uh, you know, three spiritual warfare principles to be a champion in Christ, right? We want to be armed and dangerous, but what are the three spiritual warfare principles? There's principles in the kingdom, the promises of God. We need to know these things because if we don't know these things, how are we going to fight? How are we going to identify? How are we going to capture? How are, we going to, how, are we going to, how are you going to be victorious if you don't know the things that, that are... That are, you know, prayers of repentance. I think a lot of times we don't know how to truly repent. We repent out of remorse, but we don't repent out of repentance. And the devil still got legal rights over whatever you're struggling with. Because sometimes, a lot of times, we cry and we repent. But it's not true repentance. It's more remorse. And Judas cried after he betrayed Jesus, but it was out of remorse, not out of repentance. Peter uh, betrayed Jesus three times. We know the story of Peter, but he cried out of repentance and he was restored. So these are the things because the devil wants you to cry and feel sorry, but out of remorse, not out of repentance. So I teach you how to how to walk into that. We have a heart like David. David had a heart of repentance. David was crazy, but we know David uh, was, was the type of uh, 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 Christian that he knew how to repent. He knew how to throw himself in the mercy of the court and truly repent. And God restored David. Even today, we're reading the Psalms of David. We don't read nothing about no Saul. Just a, sh a short story. Saul was remorse. And I teach you how, how I teach you how to renunciations. People sometimes don't know how to renounce. They don't know renunciation. They don't know. They don't know the weight behind it. How to put the weight behind to re to renounce those things that have to capture those things that got stronghold bondages. And this is what the book is. is I'm just sharing some spiritual warfare to discern. How you discern spiritual warfare? The book. The book is teaching you. I have the book that is actually teaching you how to discern spiritual warfare. Amen. And and this is just you know. Uh, chapters, declaration to strengthen your position in the battlefield. How do you declare and strengthen yourself in the battlefield? A lot of times we say things, but we don't declare. A lot of times we say things, but we don't we don't believe it. A lot of times we say things, but we don't have faith. We're just talking. And I, I, ju I just want to share one more thing. You know, the blood of Jesus, the arsenal of prayers of the blood of Jesus. How do you use the blood of Jesus against the devil? A lot of Christians, they say it, but they don't know how to use it. And I'm teaching these these awesome weapons, awesome weapons on, on, on the book. The book came out two days ago. I mean, it's already, I mean, I think I said the number one uh, re new release in Amazon already. You can go to Amazon, get a copy of the book, be blessed by it. You know, these are things that, you know, one thing I, I when I wrote this book, when I wrote this book, actually, I wrote it as a prayer, spiritual warfare manual. We got manuals for television. We got manuals for computers. We got manuals for iPhones. 
laptops, televisions. Uh, the manual, the greatest manual that God ever wrote was the Bible for humanity. So the Lord said, write a manual for spiritual warfare to train my people, to waken up the church, to equip the church, to teach them how to walk as soldiers and as debbers in the kingdom. The Lord told me. So I, I said, Lord, how? He said, I wrote a book he, called the Bible. The Holy Spirit told me. I, we wrote a, a, called a book, wrote the Bible, uh, a, a manual for humanity, how to live right in, in the eyes of God. Uh, how do you live right now as a God if you don't know the Bible? We, we have religion. That's not going to help us walk, live right in the eyes of God. A lot of people got religion, but we don't have instructions. And instructions bring details. And details brings victory. And details brings exposure. And this is what we need to know. Expose the devil. Get the exposure of the kingdom. Fight the good fight. Stay in the race. Uh, cultivate what God has given you. How do you do these things? Who's training you? Who's teaching you? these things who's who's equipping you to know these things and that's why I, God, the Lord said write this book and it's out there I put the link on Amazon get your copy today be armed and dangerous be, be the vessel of honor God called you to be I, I tell you one thing uh two weeks ago I, my eyes were acting up uh and I, I I was like concerned not worried concerned and the Holy Spirit said, go to the eye doctors. So I got on the plane. I went all the way to New York City. I got on the plane. Doctors looked at my eyes. They did some, all these examinations. They had to put a, a, a steroid shot in my eye. And, and, and I'm sharing this story with you because, you see, if, you, if I don't know spiritual warfare, I will panic. I fall apart. I start blaming God. I start accusing God. What were you? I'm, I'm, I'm doing ministry for you. I'm doing all these things for you. And you're letting the devil tap my eye. See, I'll get into that demonic pity party mindset. See, if I know spiritual warfare, I know that this been orchestrated by the Lord Jesus Christ to show me something deeper and higher with him. And I don't have to question him or put him on trial. I just got to walk by faith and get my victory. And, 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 and so I went, I got the shot in the eye. And I was supposed to be in Texas this weekend to preach my heart out. And, and the Lord allowed me to stay and rest my eyes because next week, you know, the pressure on the plane, when you get on the plane, 37,000 feet. So the Lord said, save that plane ride back to New York for next week that I have to go for follow-up. And I'm, actually, I'm in Glendale this Sunday, which is a local trip. Get on the car, you drive there 40 minutes. I'm preaching in Glendale this weekend on Sunday at 1 o'clock. So if you're around you, and you know you, you're somewhere close or you want to come down to Glendale, I would love to pray with you. Love to come in agreement with you. Amen. And uh, there's a lot of great things happening. The inner circle is going to be open in April. Again, uh, we're going to open up the inner circle for newcomers, for people that want to come and really be equipped and fight the good fight. Make Jesus Christ proud that he picked you. Amen. So I just want to share. I just want to come on and share that moment with you about this, uh, this five press uh, building arsenal to destroy satanic kingdoms. Amen. And this book is going to touch you. It's going to transform your life. I need transformation in my life. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be stale, mediocre, copycat, and a bootleg Christian. I want to be a great original for the Lord. Amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Stay blessed. Get a copy. Go to Amazon. If you did get a copy and you're reading the book and it's touching your life, go up to Amazon, write a five-star review, and be a blessing. Shame the devil. Put a five-star review up there if the book touched your life. Amen. God bless you. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you in person and come in agreement. There's power in agreement and power in unity to destroy the works of darkness. No greater joy that God gets when we fight the good fight and we make him proud that he picked us. Because we're the last, man, we're the last of the remnant that's bring usher in the kingdom. And we usher in the presence of God into this world. And no one is going to be able to stop us. We will have the last laugh. The church will not be mocked. Christ will not be mocked. The blood of Jesus will not be mocked. The cross will not be mocked. And the real church will not be mocked. And we are the vessels of honor that he called us for the fight. Be blessed. God bless you all. Amen.